What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're focusing on Kiefer Bellows trading in the Boston University Terriers to the Portland Winterhawks of the Western Hockey League as he is leaving Boston University after one season. A season in which he, you know, offensively didn't have a great year at the 14 points, 34 games, but started for the U.S. of the World Juniors and was instrumental in the U.S. bringing home the gold, um, you know, in that, in that tournament. So, you know, you look at it. I, I really like Bellows' game, but there's just there's one thing that kind of bothers me with Bellows, and this isn't a knock on the kid at all. But hypothetically, let's say he plays with Portland next year and then goes to the AHL the year after, goes to Bridgeport. I would have to draft him in the first round last year, 2016. You know, he'll have played for Adina High School, Sioux Falls Stampede, U.S. National Team Development Program, Boston University, Portland Winterhawks, Bridgeport Town Tigers. Six teams in six years. I, I, I just, I don't. Come on, dude. You know, and you know, I, I'm all about players doing what's best for them. That's that's not an issue at all. But come on. You know, I don't know how much of it. You know, his father obviously being a, a former great player. You know, I don't know if his old man's kind of moving him around. I don't know what it is. Um, and do I think his game will do really well at the at the junior level? Yeah, I think uh, he'll be a great Western Hockey League player. You know, I think his tenacity. I think that in a weird way, it's kind of caged in college hockey. I think they'll let, they'll let the beast out, and uh, you know, he'll do some great things for the Winterhawks. But, and I think he'll you know really play a starring role in the U.S. of the World Juniors as he looks to defend their gold medal on home soil next year. And I think, again, he's he's a better prospect than his number showed at BU. I think he's a very good you know power winger that'll do some great things to the Islanders down the line. But, you know, the six teams in six years, potentially, um, yeah, it's not something you, you want to see. But, you know, hey, more power to the kid doing what's best for him, but, you know, we'll see how that shakes itself up in the next few weeks and months. But, you know, tough loss for BU, but, you know, they got a great recruiting class coming in. You know, you can say that every year that uh, Dave Gwynn's, you know, running the shit, running show at BU. You know, they're going to have really good players coming in every year. And, uh, you know, losing Bellis is a tough one. You know, you already lost Clayton Keller. You've lost uh, Charlie McAvoy. But, you know, it's uh, it's a tough one. A tough pill to swallow, but I guess that's a, the tough part with having so many great players in your program is they're gonna go pro. You know they're gonna jump to junior hockey, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's all I got. This episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.